Hello, I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times talking about some things you can find today on the Arkansas blog. Have you heard of that thing they call the internet? It's really changing our world, they tell me. I, I'm making fun, of course, but there are a couple of items on the blog today that I thought were interesting about our new digital economy. One was the announcement of a new business in Osceola that's going to recycle parts from junk computers. I didn't know until today there's a word, a phrase for this called urban mining. And uh, Al Gore was there, he's an investor, and they're going to they're gonna capture valuable metals from junk computers and use them for new purposes, so how about that? Also on the digital front today on the Arkansas Times is an interesting story from the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. Starting in the fall, you're going to be able to get a four-year college degree in business administration from the University of Arkansas all online. You never have to set foot in a Fayetteville classroom. My first question, of course, is can you still get student tickets to the football game? Some of us also remember going to college when we didn't go to class either, but that was before the internet. We still managed to get out. Uh, in other news today, uh, Benji Hardy is going to be reporting on the blog on a big meeting at the Capitol about the state teachers insurance crisis. There's a very simple solution to this problem and that is to provide insurance at the same level and cost for teachers that you provide for other state employees. The problem is is that either the state would have to pay a whole lot more money or state employees would have to take reduced benefits to get this done. Neither of those things are likely going to happen. Other short news headline takes, Ronnie Floyd, the megachurch pastor from Northwest Arkansas, was elected president of the Southern Baptist Convention today. That won't change many lives here, but it'll probably help him sell some more books. Susan Weber Wright, the federal judge, today ordered the state of Arkansas to pay $69,000 in fees and costs to the attorneys of the lawsuit that struck down the state's new law that uh, banned abortions after 12 weeks of a pregnancy. Everybody told the legislature this would happen, including Governor Mike Beebe. The Republicans went ahead and did it anyway. We should make Jason Rapert and the Republicans who voted for this bill pay the attorneys' fees. Derek Fisher, a proud graduate of Parkview High School in UALR, was named today as the new head coach of the New York Knicks and the National Basketball Association. A great moment for a very popular hometown guy. And finally, I'd recommend that you take a look on the Arkansas blog for a great column by Ernest Dumas about the Bo Bergdahl situation. Uh, we go after all our troops that are, that are held prisoner. And we don't worry about whether they deserve it or not because all American soldiers deserve it. And by the way, President Obama is not the first American president to work out trades for hostages or to take illegal actions to bring our boys home. And we shouldn't be picking on Obama for this. Uh, this and more on the Arkansas blog today. Thanks a lot for listening.